Let's let's play Tribes Ascend. Uh, this game is very hard to talk about while playing, so you'll excuse me if I'm not able to commentate to my usual standards, which are obviously so very high. Um, this is a free-to-play, team-based, class-based, online, first-person shooter. And as you can see, it is absolutely insane, and I'm not even showing you the best parts yet. Uh, so someone who's played this game is probably going to look at this and immediately just say, You are misrepresenting this game, good sir. Up, ah, there we go. Those bastards can go invisible. Never quite know where they're at. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I've played this game quite a lot before. And that ties into why I'm suddenly playing it again at this point in time. I'll get into that later, though. Because right now I'm going to try to explain at first what this game is actually about. As you can tell, there's two teams. And these bastards go invisible. Ah, oh, shit. He's here somewhere. God damn it, where'd he go? Shit. I'm not equipped to deal with that guy. As you can tell, first of all, the, mo the mobility in this game is absolutely crazy. And that's not just attributed to the jetpacks and the crazy run speed. Because there's a little feature in this. This is the full map, by the way. What you're still in there, that's just our base. This game's pretty big. The, the original tribes had... Uh, the original Tribes was actually kind of like a science fiction battlefield before Battlefield existed. It was, you know, large maps, two teams of bases and vehicles driving around and doing stuff. But there was a bug with the physics that let players... I'm not entirely sure what it was, but it was something along the lines of uh, repeated jumping made the game think that you were constantly in the air, even when you weren't, which meant that you suddenly had no friction. It would slide around on the ground. And that bug was fun enough that people made scripts for it so that, you know, you didn't have to constantly mash the jump button to stay frictionless. And in tri when Tribes 2 came around, it became a full-fledged feature. They call it skiing. That, along with the jetpacks and the level designs, is what makes the Tribes franchise what it is. And there is nothing that plays like a Tribes game. Let's see if I can find this sneaky infiltrated area. Yes, hello! He's using a new weapon. I've never used a shock lance. They introduced that somewhere between when I stopped playing and today. I can still spectate though. This is cheating! I can see where he is. If I had teammates with voice chat, I could be like, uh, he's standing by the generator. Skiing. In this game, you just hold the button. You see those bars show up at the side with a uh, kilometers per hour meter. And you slide. You don't even have to touch anything. You just lose friction and you go. And that is fun as all hell. And as soon as I rid these guys from our generator room, I'm going to see if I can demonstrate that. Okay, we have permanently lost our generator. There is no way we're getting this back. At least not when it's just me in here. Playing a technician as I am, I can place these turrets, but they don't work if our generator is down. And I can't repair it. Because these bastards are here. Yeah, what you're seeing right now is actually fairly atypical for this game. There are not a lot of... Well, there are a lot of bullet weapons, but they're not widely in use. You usually see explosives of various kinds. And the indoor environments are... It's just... Each base has a little indoor place. Most of the maps is just big, flowing, open areas. Um, there's regenerating health. And you also have an energy bar down there at the lower left. Which dictates, among other things, how far you can jetpack. Or how long you can... Okay, I forgot. That's how you use. Numpad... Uh, you can use the numpad to change classes, which is super handy. There's nine of them. Uh, divided into three... Um, three types, light, medium, and heavy. The technician here is a medium. It basically just means how much health they have and how fast they're able to go. Yes. Or rather, how much energy and how much mobility you have, basically. Um, I bet these guys are still here. Let's put this down here, just... Yep. You missed me, little jackass. Where'd he go? We have a friendly infiltrator right there. When he's going white like that, that means he's actually invisible. I can see him because we're on the same team. Oh, it's been so long. I used to play Infiltrator constantly. Oh, constantly in this game. Here we go. But it's been so long that I've pretty much forgotten how to do it. Back when I played this... I wonder if it's safe enough to start repairing. Nope. Howdy. You really thought that was going to work, did you? Oh, I just threw a grenade pretty much out. Yeah, I blew myself up. That's fantastic. <sighs> Great. Okay, now I'm going to respawn as a Pathfinder. This map, by the way, I've never played on this map before. Well, I've played this map once. Because I'm going to be honest, I tried recording this uh, two days ago. 
which is the first time I've played it seriously in like about a year. And it went so poorly that I just said, no, I'm gonna do that over, I'm gonna try that again. Here we go, the Pathfinder. It's the go fast class. Since it's a capture the flag thing, you'll want someone to be able to do that. And win the game for you. And that, that's pretty much what the core of this game. You have your base with your flag and the defenses. The generator helps with that. And you have your offensive players, who usually go really freaking fast along these hills. See, this... This game is just freaking fun. So why am I playing this game? Well, like I said, I played it really seriously for a short period of time, about a year ago. I'm not sure how long I played it. A couple of months. Okay, what you're seeing now is what the usual tribe's fight is gonna end up looking like. You have your explosive weapons. This is the spin fuser, which is the iconic weapon that has been all of the in all of the games. Ah, it's the mainstay in a lot of the classes. Probably is the rounds travel so slow that it makes it really hard to hit with, but the explosion makes up for it. That, that that's what makes this game so freaking fun. Everything is really hard to hit with because everyone's just flying around, and there's physical inheritance, which means that you know, if I'm traveling really fast in one direction and I fire, the round is going to go in the direction I travel more or less. Actually, less, because it's not 100%, but never mind, let's get into that. Oh, I'm trying to figure out what to do. There's Okay, so yeah, I play this fairly seriously, very enthusiastically. Our base is in... or our flag is inside our base? Oh, never mind. Don't do that, don't return the flag when it is inside the base, because that makes it really hard to capture. Unless this map is... You know what, I'm not gonna... I'm gonna stop talking as if I know what to do. Because between when I stopped playing this game and today, about a year later, things have changed drastically. And that's why I've decided to come back to it. They recently released a Game of the Year edition, they call it, which is a paid version. Like I said, it's free to play, so you got your usual thing where there's a ton of stuff that you can unlock and playing by, by playing the game and getting experience in matches and then spending the experience on things. Or you can buy them with the real money. Or you can buy an XP booster to get twice the XP, which is... that's well, never mind. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's shoot this guy. If I can. Well, I got an assist. That's something. So yeah, the, the, you, you, the, ver the verticality, the mobility of this game, the dynamic of the combat is just... There is nothing that plays like tribes. The closest you can get is probably something like Unreal Championship, but hey, when was the last time they, re they released one of those? Oh, Infiltrator, huh? Well then. I wonder where he went. Um, so yeah, the Game of the Year edition is a, is a paid version of the game, which, if you buy it, you get everything that has currently been released uh, that you can buy with XP in the game, without having to level up and unlock stuff, which I think is kind of boring, but it's like 30 bucks or so, which is a lot cheaper than if you were to buy everything with money, or if you were to buy experience boosters to level up faster. And the anime team is taunting us. So, yeah, I decided to see if I can warm up to this game. Because I had some problems with it back when I stopped playing. I fell out for a number of reasons. But so much has changed that I decided, you know what? Tribes, I loved you so much, I'm willing to give you another shot. So this series is probably not going to be very long. Because this is not going to be my main multiplayer game. I have my battlefields and all of that. But I had so much fun with this back then that I, I, I have to revisit it and see see what's new. So join me as I try to relearn how to play Tribes Ascend. <laughs> 